I got started in this in 2006. I remember hearing a news report. It was about Brian Schaefer, a six foot two man that disappeared without a trace. And I could not get my head around it. So I reached out through their guest book and I just wrote and said, hey, I do websites. Can I help you? And immediately I got a phone call back and it started from that day. And I am still doing it 18 years later. Then it quickly became apparent that there were so many missing in Ohio that people didn't even know about. Like people have no idea. I don't think I had any idea until I heard of the Brian Schaefer case, to be honest. Um, so Brian is my, that was my main guy that I've worked on for 18 years. And then I ended up meeting Andy Chapman's family and Andy Chapman had gone through some stuff in his personal life. So Brian went missing and on April 1st, Andy went missing in December of that year. I hadn't heard of Andy for the first 10 years that I was involved. I was so focused on Brian and I thought this isn't fair. Brian is a good looking white male, you know, going into a professional role, you know, to be a doctor. And I thought, mm -mm, there's a lot of cases that's not like that. Missing person departments are very small, even in Columbus. Um, they have a lot of cases and you only have so many detectives that can work those cases. So they can't give all their attention to each case. So they are spread very thin. And that's just one police department. You go missing in Frazeesburg, the village right next to me. You've got, I think, two officers, right? I'm going to say they've probably dealt with one missing person case in their entire history, if that. There's so many of them and they each have a story. And how I look at these is every single one of these cases right here have someone that loves them and someone that misses them.